hi guys and welcome back to the channel i hope that you're doing really well today we have got another garden update for you rob and i are in 29 degree heat because we are about to hopefully lay down our new patio layout the way that the garden previously looked there were lots of mismatched paving slabs on the floor that we're guessing that the previous owners just kind of like made do with to have some sort of patio in the garden decided to change it up because we want to maximize how much sun we are able to sit in in the garden gonna run through a few little plans rob and i have been out here just like throwing some ideas around we just want to be able to get out and use the garden it's not anything going to be like a major transformation but it might help some of you guys in updating your gardens a little bit as well if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the video so that you can keep up with us and our house renovations in the future we're trying to figure out how we should extend the patio from this section when we relay them over and across to this section which will be our new seating area just going to relay the same slabs down but they were really wonky and it was a little bit dangerous don't want anyone to trip on loose slabs and hurt themselves so we've just decided to pick them up and we're going to relay them when we put some new sands down and we also are going to make sure that it leans away from the house because one thing that we did realize is over the winter when we get horrendous rain storms it did start to pull against the house and that's not good for the foundations of the house you can probably actually see it's like kind of patinaed the bricks underneath and they've gone a little bit green then what we're going to do is you can see where the tape measure is now we're actually going to use the slightly taller slabs there lengthways to create a narrow path down this section just give us a really nice walking path down to the main area which is where most of our sofa some chairs barbecue and stuff will hopefully be able to live i feel terrible but rob actually dug this out last weekend there was grass here he dug it out because we thought we were going to just extend the patio in one big square but having thought about it really we need to make sure that this section has the slabs so i do feel bad he's already dug it out but we're going to instead of replacing the grass there we're going to just create that square off here and it's going to become a bit of a fire pit area because we've got a nice fire pit and i think if we can lay down some weed barrier and then lots of stone over the top then have the fire pit it might be a really nice feature without having to do too much so this is the new drawing rob's just come up with so we've got some slab patio up by the house then we've got a really nice pathway and then we have got the extra patio on the right hand side so it should work out that we've got enough space to put down all of our furniture and it might be really nice that we've got some that's in the shade most of the day and some that's in the sun so that we can bounce around the two of them and rob's just figuring out measurements right now <laughs> and i guess he that? needs my help that's so, so <laughs> i'm gonna go and help him now tiles on this side. So this is how our boundary line is looking like this. So imagine all of the spaces inside are going to be full of patio slabs the gravel with a fire pit in the middle which should be a vibe and we are actually bringing the slabs back to fall in line but the slabs are in, in in the way at the moment oh my god what the hell why is there a swarm of wasps okay maybe we should go inside for five until they go away because i'm not trying to get stung right now yeah. look at them in the garden is this definitely something there on the other side on of the other side of that can you see them on the camera or not kind of this really isn't picking up how many there are in real life we have managed to source the peterborough council compost bin and the guy said we could come and fill our boots and as we got here there's a family that was getting rid of some and they had this huge bag so i used a bit of that irish charm that i inherited from my mum <laughs> asked them if i could have their bag so we're going to bin it and they said yes so we're just trying to fill this now the bag had some holes at the bottom so we've just laid some black bags just to cover the holes but if we can get like a nice layer we're going to both carry it and put it in the boot of the car i've also managed to score for a pot that that same family was getting rid of it has got a huge crack but might be okay it's very very big that would cost probably about 50 quid to buy brand new and we've now got to try and lift up this bag i'm not gonna lie it's quite heavy <laughs> Thank you. 
morning, excuse the state of me. I was getting ready for the morning, but our delivery of our tools that we're gonna be using today have just arrived. So I'm gonna go collect them and show you what we've picked up. Do you wanna run through and how it works? Yeah, so, that would be handy. Yeah, sure. Make sure before you start it, it's uh, always on the torso, not on the hair, otherwise it'll just start whacking immediately. Thanks so much. Good luck, have a good yeah. <laughs> day. Cheers. Cheers, see you soon. Bye. So, how do you feel about the tools, Rob? Good. It's only got one wheel. A bit like a wheelbarrow. Oh my god! Bloody hell! Charlie is going in with the the big tools for the first time. I'm going to try it this way. Oh, it is heavy, jeez. Very heavy. So heavy. You need to pull the toggle at the front. Do I, I need to put it on here though? Yeah, yeah. On. On, and then pull the toggle. Put it down. Pull the toggle. This one. Yeah. It's not going to start moving. No. Um, yeah. What? What speed's it on? Okay. Yeah. Just pull the handle. Don't lift it up that high. So intense. Done. Guess how long you've been doing it for? How long? Guess. Four minutes. Oh. Is it four? Literally exactly four minutes. <laughs> My legs are prickling, they're that like <laughs> hot and sweaty. It's easy enough, but it's just super heavy and hard yeah, yeah. to control. But it's easy enough to use. I think if you've got a space where you like it's really hard for you to churn the ground definitely try and use something like this because we've only used it once each and i guess you just get better mm. and it gets easier over time i'm gonna ache tomorrow a little update we've used the tiller or the cultivator or the rotivator i don't actually know which one it is i think it's a tiller but um it's churned up everywhere that we're going to relay the slabs uh, this section was the hardest because slabs were already there and it looks like they'd use some sort of sand or concrete in this section hence why it's a different color this is just really beautiful soil all of the edges where we haven't been able to get super close with the tiller and especially up near the house and stuff we're going to use a rake so we've got a stiff rake here and then we've also got this type of rake i mean that's for leaves i don't think we'll end up using that because we'll just break the prongs on that but we're gonna have to just use one of the rakes to lay it so it's kind of flat rob now is very impatient he's got about 15 minutes left of his lunch break and he wants to try the compactor so we gonna try it are you ready yeah okay let's go I Why is it not going forward? Um, I think you've done everything right. I think it's just that you needed to lean it back because then the vibration allows it to go forward. No? No. Maybe it doesn't like mud like this. Maybe it works better on... Do you want to try it over on the sand? Just drag it over that way. It likes the mud. So it hates the mud basically. We're either going to have to try and struggle on the section with the mud or try and bring in some of those stones that we've skipped over there and mix them in so it's got something to glide on. Yeah. Because it was laughing over this section. Yeah, yeah. And then it slowed right down over here. I cannot deal with this heat. It's too much. Um, Rob's gone back to work and we're going to leave it until this evening when the whole section that we need to do is in the shade because it is far, 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 far too hot to be 
getting a sweat on trying to do something like this right now. I also really desperately need to wash my hair, but there's no point washing my hair knowing the sort of work that I'm doing over today and tomorrow. So I'm gonna wash it at the end of tomorrow instead. Hopefully by that point, we've done all of the like nitty gritty stuff. Those tools are scary. I'm not gonna lie, like especially having the French doors right at the area where we're doing work, we you need to really know that you've got control of them because they could quite easily get out of hand. I'm a little bit disappointed in the compactor because it's not gliding over the mud very easily, which I'm gonna go and do some research and see if there's anything that we can do to prevent that happening and give us a bit of an easier evening with it because Rob looked like he was really struggling just then. If worse comes to worse, we've got a lot of gravel that we were gonna chuck underneath and out of the way, just getting it out of the way for now that we could potentially mix into it, just like scatter over the top so that the compactor has something to glide over because that's how it, it seems to work like that. It's past lunchtime, but he didn't eat any food when we were out there so I'm going to make us a quick lunch and give it to him so that he can eat between meetings and you know what I'm going to do I'm going to bulk cook um, for the next couple of days because especially projects like this I just don't have a lot of energy to expend so if I expend all my energy in the garden or on a project I will quite easily forget to eat and that is not a good thing it's really good for me to bulk cook food in advance that I never have an excuse to just like have a really lame meal so a big thank you to today's sponsor hello fresh since it's turned into summer me and rob have dramatically changed the sort of foods that we're eating we're not having as many hearty meals it's a lot of salads a lot of vegetables a lot of light foods like fresh fish wraps things like burgers like everything that gets you in the mood for summer that's what we're enjoying and it's really nice that hello fresh keeps up with that i think you have like 44 or more meals a week new meals to choose from so there's always something new and also that's really helped us get a little bit more adventurous with what we're trying i often have a lot of the vegetarian style meals it really helps Rob with trying to try out new vegetables like he's not a very vegetables guy but a lot of the meals he's always like mm, actually this is really tasty so it's a great way to get our veggies in that way I'm gonna make us lunch we've actually got cheddar chicken and chorizo enchiladas pesto crusted bassa which I know Rob won't eat that so that will be for me but I'm gonna meal prep that for the next couple of days and then for dinner tonight I think we're gonna do the hot and crispy fried chicken burger. Everything comes pre-portioned, it gets delivered straight to your door, you get recipe cards with pictures, so if you're a very visual person, this is for you, and then you also get all of your nutritional stuff on the background too, on the back of the card. Even last week we had our friend come down from Newcastle, she came for a couple days to stay with us and it was really nice, I took her to London and we went sightseeing, and then we came home and Rob had cooked us up our Hello Fresh for the week because I knew she was coming. So I actually ordered meals for three people that week instead of two. The good thing about Hello Fresh is that you can actually pause or even skip a week. So it totally fits your lifestyle. So you're not paying for a box or wasting food. So the discount that I'm gonna give you guys today is a whopping 60% off your first box and then 25% off your next two months and you get free gifts as well. They're things like extra sides, snacks. We even got drinks the other day. QR code here for you to use as well so you can zap that with your phone. Also gonna leave a link in the description box for you as well. Obviously no stress, you can cancel at any time, but give it a go, it is such a good service. Yeah, I'm gonna quickly do that, run Rob up his food, and then actually I wanna take you to go to the shops. I wanna try to go to Lidl because apparently they've got so much gardening stuff there at the moment. My cousin sent me a video and um i was like okay i need to go to little i don't know what i possibly need more but we need to go to little so we actually need a wheelbarrow so i'm going to go and see if they've got one there um and just see what else they've got basically so <laughs> so i think my little is broken because my cousin's video looked way better than this but they have got loads of um gardening bits and they've got like irrigation kits they've got a metal planter here a raised bed frame surface cleaners holiday irrigation systems waste bags they've even got like strawberry grow black bags tomato planters there is loads of stuff here but the one thing that i need right now is mesh or weed barrier oh 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 here we go how much is this four pounds for I don't know how big this is. I might need to pick up a couple of these, but these will be good for underneath the slabs, but they don't seem to have the mesh that we need. So I'll probably have to order that off Amazon or something. Okay, Matt 
the challenge, I will always make it fit. I really hope Rob does not watch this clip. Day. I look very different. I don't look like I'm about to go into the garden. I'm actually about to go to a show with my friends. So I thought I'd get a little bit glam because it's very rare that I do these days. However, I know that I haven't done an update today. So last time I saw you, I managed to get a wheelbarrow. That was a close call. I managed to get a wheelbarrow and fit it in Rob's car. And as soon as I got home, he was like, how did you get that wheelbarrow home? And I was like, in your car, in the front seat. But I didn't do any damage whatsoever and we definitely needed it so it's actually worked out quite well. Rob's dad is actually coming to stay with us for the weekend which is lovely. I'm gonna put you down because I can't be bothered to hold this. <laughs> Rob's dad is actually coming to stay with us this weekend which is gonna be really nice. So today's Thursday and he's not leaving till Monday so it's like a full weekend. Him and Rob are having a bit of a boys weekend. Um, they're gonna go see the Arctic Monkeys. I'm gonna just basically keep myself to myself, make myself scarce and let them have a bit of a weekend. But it is also very handy that Rob's dad is coming down today because he's gonna actually help Rob lay the sand in the garden to go underneath the patio. And also it means that we've got an extra pair of hands when it comes to lifting the actual slabs and putting them in place. I don't know what I'm gonna come home to tonight in terms of how far along it's gonna be done. Rob seems very keen that he wants to try and get slabs down and sand down tonight, which might be, might be possible, but I also don't want them to spend their first night together just doing that. So I just said like, try it out, see how you feel with the sand, maybe lay a row of slabs and then leave it because we've always got the whole entire weekend. I'm gonna show you what it looks like now, but in all honesty, I think this is gonna be a bit of a weekend project just to make everything perfect. So it will be two parts. This part has been kind of the prep work and a lot of the planning. And then the second part is gonna be the slabs in place with all of our furniture in place, fingers crossed. Lots of beautiful pots and plants around and hopefully a little bit of a summer set up with a barbecue. And I also wanna go shopping and get some little bits for you know like tablescaping and maybe a couple of outdoor cushions and also we want to make that fire pit area as well so that's going to be another key feature of that whole thing but let's go see where it looks now where it looks now i can't speak let's go see where it looks how it looks now just a really short update my flower baskets were beautiful but they've died in this heat it's been too hot for them unfortunately so i'm gonna to have to deadhead them but i have been watering them basically nearly every day if not every day but they look very worse for wear. This is currently how the back garden looks. We've obviously, the container garden is looking great and you can see the potential there with the amount of mesh that we've got down. So this mesh is actually a weed membrane. Rob has done some research and apparently it's quite good to put underneath slabs because it also helps to stop those weeds getting through. We ended up buying, I think three rolls. They were $3.99 each from Home Bargains. No, that's a lie. <laughs> I think they were $4.99 each from Home Bargains. So about 15 pounds, which it was isn't too bad considering the size of this space. U-shaped pegs to hold them in place. You could potentially even just staple them together because once the sand is on and the slabs that's not going to go anywhere but it's just to hold them down for now again we've got the shape mapped out and I think Rob's going to be using some of these wooden slats to create the I don't know how to explain it but you basically use it to make sure that the sand is level I'm going to link a video or two down below that's helped us get to the point that we're at now in terms of research and anything else that I think might be a little bit more helpful for you guys because I'm not 
probably not the best to explain him right now but essentially him and his dad are going to do the sand in today and hopefully over the weekend we're going to have all of the slabs in place and i'm also going to get some slate for this fire pit area get everything on have it all dressed up and looking lovely lovely jubbly but yeah i'm not going to put any stress on ourselves to try and get it all finished in like a day or two so we'll just have to wait for the next video for that one but it has been a big big job rob i can't even lie rob has actually done most of this he's just powered through he hasn't even complained just like got up and got out and started doing stuff he was actually doing stuff this morning i remember hearing banging it like half eight and thinking what is that sound and it was him locking all these u-shaped pegs in place if you're going to take something like this on it is a pretty hefty job you probably will need multiple people but it is definitely worth it i'm so excited to see the potential of this space also i know a few of you did give me the heads up and say sade it is a good idea maybe paint in the back of that garage but you do need to get your neighbor's permission i don't know why i didn't think of that to be honest so we have actually text our neighbor i don't think we've got a response yet but i did ask rob to text our neighbor we'll make sure that we've got any any permissions to do stuff like that and after everything's laid everything does need a very good tidy up so anyway i'm going to love you and leave you here i hope that you enjoyed this video and if you're new here then please do hit subscribe or if you've never hit subscribe please do hit subscribe it really helps me out it helps to push my videos out to more people so more people can enjoy them i'm probably going to leave you on a little bit of a time lapse of rob and his dad maybe you know doing some landscaping bits and we'll see how far they get and how far how much i can put in this video that's a notification to say my friends are here so love you and leave you goodbye my friend bye